Hello Jaipur marketers my name is Harshit Goel and I'm working as a Salesforce developer from last one year so today we'll be uh, looking into patient card in health cloud so let us see what is a patient card a patient card is nothing but it's just a section in the patient record page which is used to display the essential detail about the patient so which helps the care coordinators to get information about the patient without navigating much into health cloud so what all are the details which can be displayed in the patient card are all the fields from the object which is related to account object can be displayed in the patient card so you ask me why the account object is necessary to be linked to that object because in health cloud uh, the person account is used to display the patient so there should be a link between that object and account so let's have a look how a patient card look a patient card look like this in the how it is shown in the ppt so uh, these are the fields which are uh, given by Salesforce out of the box but we can use any standard object or custom objects field to display in the patient card which we'll be looking in the demo. So this is how a patient card looks like. So to create a new entry in this patient card we'll need to update an object called patient card configuration which is provided by Salesforce. So here we need to create a record. So for creating this, first of all, we should know which which is the account, uh, which is the object which is related to account that we need to show. So for this demo purpose, I have uh, used this EHR procedure. So to use this EHR procedure, first of all, I'll need to decide which is the field I need to display. So I decided to show this code label, which which will tell me that what is the procedure the patient has gone through. And, uh, and one more field which should be the formula checkbox field which is used to uh, used to uh, tell whether to show this, this record or not so this this should be a formula checkbox field and what it, what it does is it just decide if the code label is blank or not so if the code label is blank then we we don't need to show uh, this in the patient card and if this is not blank then we'll be showing it so we need to create one formula checkbox field and we uh, we need to create one uh, we, we need to select one uh, field which we need to display so let's go to the patient uh, card configuration and create one so for this i'll be keeping the name as recent procedure And the object name would be the name of the object from which I need to show the field. Now the field name would be the name of the field which I need to show. Then comes the friendly name. So the friendly name would be the name which will be displayed on the patient card as a label. Then comes the sort order which tells us how how the sorting of all the fields should be done. So which should be shown on the top and which should be shown on the bottom. So this can be any number from 1 to how many patient, patient card configuration you have created. So I am taking 7 because I have created 6 till now. So this would be the 7th one. Then a sort by is a field through which we will be uh, sorting the order of the record so we can have more than one procedure for a patient so this code label uh, would be used to sort which to show on the top so we just need to show one so we'll be keeping the limit as one uh, then we have the override filter field so this is the field which i was talking about the, uh, that formula checkbox field which we need to create so i have already created the uh, created one that is is visible on patient card this is what i need to show there then comes this patient account lookup so this is the lookup field which should be there on the object which we are using so in this case we have the account lookup on this field called health cloud ga underscore underscore account underscore underscore c 
so we'll be pasting this here and this ascending is used to uh, display the if there is there are multiple records then uh, in which order we want to show the records is decided by this checkbox and is this active and inactive is just like if we want to keep this as active so like if we want to show this field in the patient card or not and this language is uh, used to uh, like give the multilingual support so we can create multiple variants of this procedure in multiple language if we want so now we just need to save this and now when we go to file is cotton where the patient and we'll refresh this then we'll be able to see the recent procedure as knee replacement this is why because i have created a record in the ehr procedure for this file is cotton and the and he, he has gone through this uh, knee replacement so thank you everyone for watching this video by jaipur marketer